How's it going? This is a video to try to explain the different power systems in Greg Tech 6 currently. Uh, all of everybody knows from IC2 and Greg Tech you have EU. And currently, the ways of producing that, strictly through Greg Tech, is the solar panel and the dynamo. We'll get back to this one in a little while. This works just like any other solar panel you put it in the sun it makes electricity 8 EU per tick but long before you get to these you're going to start with heat units HU so you have your burning box and then your electrical heater this works off of any combustible material such as coal charcoal wood logs, planks, sticks, saplings, and the such. This runs off electricity. Now with every converter block, this is a conversion block because it's converting EU into HU, there is loss. And for most of them, it is a 50% loss. If you look here, tool tips are very important in Greg Tech. You really need to read them over. As you see, it says energy out 20 HU a tick for that bismuth burning box there. Now, if you look at a boiler, which is probably the first thing other than a crucible that you will use. A burning box four, you will see it takes HU and it turns it into steam. Steam being a sort of power source. It's a conversion of sorts. A way of transmitting power early on in the game. So this is your HU. Then the next one you're probably going to set up is KU, or a kinetic unit. This is going to be used for, like, your press, um, your crusher, squeezer, things like that. Now, again, there are two different versions. You have the steam version which will need to be hooked up to the boiler and then you have the electric version which will need to be hooked up to an electrical system and just like with the other converter blocks this has a efficiency on it that's your loss which is 50 percent so 200 steam will give you 100 KU so with the steel one, it'll be 64 steam in and 16 KU out. Then one of the next ones you will probably be setting up is RU. And you have a turbine and you have a electrical motor. Turbine runs off of steam. So it'll need a boiler set up like this, and it would basically get placed in right like that. You'll want to make sure it's facing the machine, or if used to make electricity, it will connect to this side right here. That's how you can tell it's an RU input, so you will have it just like that then you can create go from steam to RU to EU so that is the way you use a dynamo to make electricity now you also have an electric motor that will run off of your power grid if you make 
an EU power grid. And again, this one is a 50% loss. Now, the dynamo and turbine are the ones with a different loss. If you look, the turbine is a 66.66% efficiency, and the dynamo is a 75% efficiency. So you will end up getting, I do believe it's roughly 50% efficiency through from electricity to the EU, or from steam to EU. And then your more advanced ones, you will have laser, which runs only off of electric and magnetic, which only runs off of electric. So this is your MU and or MU and LU. Now, as far as GUIs go, if we look up iron in here and we look at the way to process iron you will see that the crusher will say GU per tick GU is generic unit or Greg unit as some people call it that just means whatever unit of power that the crusher calls for that is how much it will take of that kind of power so since this is a crusher, it takes KU, so it will be 16 KU per tick. And then if you look at that into the sluice, it takes 16 GU as a tick as well, but a sluice takes RU. So that will read 16 RU per tick. For the sluice. Then, if you go to the shredder, it is RU again. For some things, there are no specific tier and there are no power, such as the bath. That means that it is a time based thing. There is no power requirement whatsoever for this. No manual things need to be done. You just add the two materials. You get out the result in a specific time. Um, the bath and the coagulator are the two main ones that we have at this time that run off of just a time basis. But then if you, uh, actually, iron won't do it. Let's look at tin. I know that one will. And we'll skip through a few of these here. Purified. And then you have your magnetic separator. Which again, 16 GU a tick. This takes MU, or your electric magnet. So that'll be 16 MU per tick for that. So that does not, and no, not one of these says how much EU it's going to take. It's all whatever unit that one takes and there is no actual GU that's just a generic number so hopefully that answers all of your questions on the different power producing power units and the way they read in GUIs if you have any questions as usual feel free to ask thanks for watching